Uh, Timothy, a very good afternoon to you. We've seen uh, President Barack Obama's speech. We've uh, seen the official launch. I mean, what is the kind of mood there? What does it look like for the people, essentially? Uh, local joint here in Kogelo where a few of the residents were actually viewing this event as it was streaming live and were keenly listening to what uh, former United States President Barack Obama was saying and many of them are seeing are adorned in Obama Warwakidala t-shirts which basically means Obama welcome home as you can see this is just uh, one of the shirts but many of them this is has been like a theme in this part of the world the whole of today many of them just listening keenly to what he had to say let's try and see whether A uh, resident of Sierra County, I live here in Sierra. I'm a member of this chain. I love this chain so much. Today, we as the people of but our desire has been for a long time that this will be happening sooner than yesterday. But for today, we are happy. But still, our idea as the people of Sierra, we want something bigger than this. Maybe in the future, Obama could perhaps come at the Sierra Stadium, understand the local community, our interests. So for today, it's good. It started as a good start. But we will say, as people of CIA, we want more of him. We want to see the investors coming. We want to see a, a, a changed community. Because we identify with Obama as our own. And we think and we believe by him we can do more. We can achieve more as a community. So that is our interest. Kudos, Auma, for bringing us Obama home. But we are saying next time, Open up Obama up. We are not just beggars. We are good people, man. <laughs> we are not. Lewis are organized team, people. So we are saying we love the generosity. We love the love for coming home. But we are saying we are your other brothers. We are so many Obamas down here. And so we are saying bring us home. Get us closer. And by doing that, open more programs in Africa, in Kenya, in CIA, in Kisumu, in Homa Bay. We want to grow. We want more investors. All yeah. Right. All right. Thank you so much for your opinion. Perhaps get one more. Let's get a lady this time around. Thank you for speaking to KTN News. Clad in your Obama t-shirt. Are you happy with the speech he made? I'm happy. Okay. I'm called Priska Awino Achach. I'm a waiter in Alfro's Hotel. I'm happy about the coming of Obama to Africa. And what I wish to, to, to tell my fellow ladies in South Africa, may you bring us some Obamas, not only one, but others, for us to have others, 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 and more. And more. Thank you. All right. Perhaps one last one, Akisa, uh, before I let you go. Uh, another gentleman over here. We have heard Obama talk about his journey, how he first came into the country, how chickens were on his lap on the train to Kisumu before heading out to see his grandmother. Are you feeling that the son of the soil is here? Because the concern for many of the residents is they could not access the stadium, so they had many had to watch through television, even as you residents. So are you happy with this visit? What are you taking home from what he has said uh, today? Yes, first I'm called Kevin Odambolo. I'm happy for... Um, first I'm called Kevin Odambolo. I'm happy of the coming of Barack Obama. And uh, what I want to, I want Obama to help people of Kenya for, as now there is lack of, lack of employment in Kenya. So I'm requesting Obama to help people of Kenya. Yes. Do you think the resource center will change the lives of the people of Kogelo? Yes. In what way? By developing, by building many, many, many schools and uh, many, many things that can help people in Kogelo.
Yes. All right. Thank you so much uh, for speaking to KTN News. Akisa, that's just a view of some of the residents who are actually watching the proceedings here live in this particular local joint in Kogelo. Mixed reactions. Some are saying they needed more from him. Others are happy with the speech he made today and officially launching that particular resource center. Throughout the day, we've seen a lot more color than we've seen over the last two days since we've been here. American flags, merchandise. American merchandise is actually being sold. American flags, shirts, handkerchiefs. Oh, Timothy Otieno there, we seem to uh, be having a connection problem there, but he's pretty much summed up what the mood really is like in Kogelo currently. Uh, just about uh, 30 minutes ago, President Barack Obama, former U.S. President Barack Obama, ended his speech and went ahead to officially launch the Saotiku Foundation in Kogelo. This is a foundation that will incorporate vocational training, research, as well as uh, um, a sports center where they seek to enhance uh, skill-based kind of education for young people in the region. I want us now to close it for our viewers on KT.